What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is James. I am currently building an ICF house here in the state of Tennessee. Um, I wanted to give everybody an update on the garage. I know I told you in a previous, previous, previous video, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. I've, I've had a long day at work. Um, <clears throat> I want to give you guys an update, let you know about the garage. It is, uh, they came, they installed it, it is done. It was done in one day. Um, I'm really impressed. These metal buildings, they, they can put them up quick. Uh, that being said, um, here's where I am out, out in the house. Again, I'm doing the siding by myself, just me and my dad. Me on the scaffolding, dad up top. But let me give you a quick pan over and you guys can see, bam, there it is. There's the garage. Now this is a big garage. This is a 30 by 30. Uh, coincidentally, uh, uh, people, for you that, um, for those of you that are have been with me for a while, again, I can't talk. Apologize. Um, it is the same footprint as the house. The house is a 30 foot by 30 foot a basement, first floor and second floor. Um, I went ahead and I had a little bit of custom work on this one. Not a whole lot. I had to. Because of finances, I had to pick and choose what I wanted. Um, but I got 10 foot by 10 foot roll up doors. Um, the up to up to here is 11 foot. I had to have a, an extra foot for the, the roll up doors. Um, I don't know what it is at the actual peak up here, but to the, the top, if I can get, yeah, top right here is 11 foot. So that's a, that's a big garage. Um, yeah, and I went ahead and put a, I don't know if you can see it, but I have an entry door right here. Over here I have a real little window, and on the other side I have a real little window. <clears throat> I didn't want a lot of windows, um, not because of money, just I really didn't want a whole lot of windows. I'm figuring if I'm going to be in the garage, chances are one of those doors is going to be open, and that's going to bring in a lot of light. Again, those are huge roll-up doors. Um, that being said, uh, let me go ahead and open it up so you can see the inside. Uh, Pre-warning, there will be some echo in there because this is a metal building. <laughs> that being said, let me get over there and get that done. All right, guys, I went ahead and rolled up the window, or the, excuse me, the, the doors. Um, these are actually really lightweight, easy to roll up doors. Um, I don't want to say it's a plastic door, Maybe like a fiberglass, it's hard to explain. Um, but it's real lightweight, real easy, glides up, super easy. Um, the only downside I can see about these doors is you really can't lock them but on the outside. Maybe there's a, a special way you can do it for the inside with a kit or something, but from what they gave, um, you, there's just a padlock spot for the outside. Um, now, later on, I probably will change them out uh, when the house is done and I'm more settled for a traditional roll, uh, garage door. Um, for right now, uh, they will absolutely serve the purpose. Uh, get into the cost, you guys. The, and I think I went over the cost a little bit in one of the previous videos. I finally got it locked down in the actual cost. With taxes, with a, a weird fee that was added on to it, I'm not remember what it was, but it was right at 17,000 Eight hundred and sixty some dollars, I believe it was something like that. Um, try to get out of the sun here. Um, again, that's for a thirty foot by thirty foot uh, garage door, or garage, excuse me. And again, I apologize for the shaky of the camera. I'm trying to hold it still. Um, I went with the a gray roof, a a blue uh, siding, and white trim. Um, kind of coinciding with the house. Now, if you notice, this blue is actually a little bit darker than this blue. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a little bit darker, and I'm okay with that. Um, another difference is on the house, I have matching painted screws. With this one, it, they're just regular stainless steel screws. Um, I would have liked to have matching screws, but for right now, I wanted to try to keep this as low cost as possible, and for what they were, for what they were charging for the color screws, it just didn't seem worth it to me. Um, at all. It was like a hundred and some dollars, hundred and thirty dollars or something for the matching screws and it's just like, no, it, I, I can go buy the screws myself, a bag of them for like 25, 30 bucks and maybe I'll change them out at a later time, I don't know. 
But to be honest, guys, it really doesn't bother me. There's a there's a 99% chance I probably won't even change them out. I'll just leave them there because it's a garage, guys. It's just it's a metal garage. That being said, let me go inside and show you guys how it's built. All right, I'm standing. All right, I'm standing on the left side entry door. Again, there is an echo. There's one of the windows. And that's the roll-up door. Kind of give you a, a zoom in. Focus. Here we go. Now a lot of this is welded. Like this, this, sex, this top section is welded together. So that came as one piece. Each one of these, these trusses came welded together. And again, this is a 30 foot by 30 foot. There's another one of the windows. There's my door. And there's my two entries. I don't know how well it's focusing. But again, these are the, these, I think these are pretty standard roll up storage unit type garage doors. That's the best way I could describe this is a storage unit garage door, if you will. Now one thing cool is they had some leftover metal that they, that they left. I've got two, two 10 foot pieces right here. As you see how they, how they framed in the door. And let's go over here and show you how they, framed in the window. With those two extra pieces that they had extra, they, they left, I could actually use that and make, I could easily add another door, I could add another window. Um, heck, I might even be able to add two windows with that if I wanted to. Because I mean, looking at the way they, they did the windows, um, it, it's very possible, guys. And again, it's the way they did the windows, I could easily, if I didn't want these windows, if I wanted bigger windows, um, or if I wanted a wider window, I could easily take this out and redo it and make a bigger window, which it's possible, guys. I mean, it's things that, that's the great thing about these metal buildings. You can do so much with these, these buildings, and I'm really happy about it. Now this is kind of a game changer, this building is kind of a game changer for me because I now have a place where I can securely store equipment, uh, materials, I don't have to worry about storing them in the house. Um, yeah, that, that, that's kind of a game changer. Um, that's going to help out a lot. Now eventually I do, I would like to and I hope to be able to do a spray foam this, get this all at least like an inch of spray foam. Sound deaden it, so get rid of the echo. Um, keep it from uh, condensating. Um, that's kind of a big thing there. Um, it'll help keep bugs out and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be, eventually it's gonna be my main garage. I will end up parking in here. I will have a, a I wanna have a workshop all along the back wall um, so I can work on stuff. Um, for those of you that may know me personally, I like to work on my cars. I'm, I'm kind of a handyman. Uh, what they call a, a jack of all trades, master of none, if you will, for lack of a better description. Um, I like to tinker. Um, and I do have, I got my truck, which is a performance truck that I'm, I've done a lot to, that I still need to do a lot more to. And I've got a project car, an old 86 uh, Z31. Um, that I eventually want to strip down to the body and, and just do a complete overhaul on. Um, but yeah, that, a lot of that will be done in here. But yeah, this uh, I'm really happy with this. Um, I did have to do the financing for it to get this. And unfortunately, the financing right now is like horrible. Horrible. Um, if you don't have to get a loan for something, don't. 
it, it's with my credit of like I think they said it was like 812 or something like that is you know 812 you know crazy good credit you know my interest rate was 15% it's like 14.99% for a five-year loan borrowing twelve thousand five hundred dollars that's nuts guys I, I, I that's nuts I was thinking maybe 7%, maybe 8%, maybe 10%. No, this is like 15%. And they were shocked. When I went and got the loan, they were shocked to see such a low interest rate. <laughs> they, they were all like eager to see what my credit score was to see why I got such a low rate. To me, that's nuts. But that being said, I'm going to do like I'm doing. I don't know if you can see it through. Where is it? Well, back there somewhere is my car. Uh, I financed that for six years, but I'm gonna be paying it off in four. Or, no, five. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with the garage. I'm not gonna wait five years. I'm gonna try to get that down to a, like a three-year loan. I'm gonna pay extra on, on it, because I, I don't wanna pay any more interest than I have to. Um, that being said, like I said, it was 17,860 some dollars for this 30 foot by 30 foot, 11 foot high, two 10 foot roll up doors one entry door and two windows and this was all done in a day um i did get a whole bunch of pictures i took as they were building it and at at the end of this little part of the video i will show all of that and i actually did buy another a camera that is a uh, uh what do you call those cameras um time lapse had a brain freeze there uh, did buy a time lapse camera um hopefully i, I set it up right um, and I time-lapsed it from beginning to end um, right after they got here, so I'll be able to show you that. Um, with that being said, before I, I switch off to that, um, if you guys like this video, please leave a comment. Please leave it a like. I definitely appreciate it. Um, if you didn't like it or if you have suggestions for it, please let me know in the comment section. Guys. I want to make good videos for you guys. I know I'm not the best speaker. <laughs> I get tongue-tied a lot pretty easy, especially after a 10-hour day of... Of manual labor I'm tired um, but that being said uh, again let me know um, would like to grow the channel a little bit um, and share the channel with your friends family if you don't mind I definitely appreciate that that being said I will let you guys uh, go and watch the time-lapse I'll see you guys in the next video thanks